The University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point Northern Aquaculture Demonstration Facility introduces the Walleye Video Manual, a series of instructional videos on intensive culture. Video 1, Broodstock Management. Since 2008, the UW-Stevens Point Northern Aquaculture Demonstration Facility, or NADF, has been intensively rearing and feed training walleye and commercially available diets from egg to grow out. NADF is one of the few facilities in the country that holds an intensively reared and feed trained broodstock of both walleye and sager. These three to five year old broodstock are hand spawned yearly for male and female gametes. A female walleye spawned with a male sager creates a hybrid known as the sagai. This hybrid cross can occur naturally in the wild and is very similar to walleye in behavior and characteristics. Due to their comparable attributes, similar rearing techniques are used for both species at NADF. Prior studies at NADF have shown that sagai grow faster than purebred walleye to a market size of one kilogram. This graph shows the growth and weights observed in the sagai versus the purebred walleye at NADF for two consecutive years. The sagai growth is shown as the top green and red lines, while the walleye growth is shown in the purple and blue lines. Not only do sagais exhibit better performance, they can also compete as a high dollar species in an existing market. Therefore, high interest exists to market sagai as a food fish species utilizing available technology. The technology utilized at NADF for intensive rearing includes a water recirculating aquaculture system. The major components of this system includes dual drain Cornell style tanks, a micro screen drum filter, a fluidized sand biofilter, ultraviolet sterilization, and a pressurized oxygenation system. This system is used to house the NADF broodstock as well as for fingerling to grow out of sagai and walleye at the facility. Typically, the recirculation system ranges in water temperatures from 68 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. For broodstock, densities are managed at less than 30 kilograms per cubic meter with good water quality conditions for walleye. The NADF broodstock have been reared intensively on commercially available diets utilizing technologies described in this video manual from the larval stage. As adults, they are currently fed to satiation with a commercial trout or salmon diet with appropriate nutritional components. In preparation for spawning, walleye must be exposed to a chilling period in order to achieve proper gonadal development for the coming reproductive season. To stimulate this process, water temperatures are dropped down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, utilizing flow through well water with reduced feeding for 3 to 5 months. If gamete collections at natural spawning times are desired, natural daylight along with a gradual increase in water temperature after an adequate chilling period is sufficient to cue the fish for spawning. On the other hand, if out-of-season gamete collections are desired, both water temperature and photo period are manipulated to induce early spawning. Human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG hormone, is also utilized by intramuscular injection to assist with this process. Previously, at NADF, mature walleye have been successfully spawned utilizing this methodology as early as February, which is approximately 60 days earlier than a normal spawn for this northern latitude. Photoperiod manipulation is achieved with a timer-controlled light source and a darkroom environment. NADF utilizes black plastic for the enclosure and a single light source, less than 100 lumens, to expose fish to overhead lighting, beginning with around 8 to 10 hours of light. Photo period and water temperature are slowly increased to stimulate spawning activity in the mature broodstock for an intended spawning date. Water temperature should be raised to 46 to 52 degrees Fahrenheit along with an increase of 12 to 14 hours of light to promote spawning. Feeding may increase during this period but should discontinue around 7 to 10 days prior to estimated spawning time. At this point the broodstock are now preparing to spawn. This concludes the video tutorial on broodstock management. Continue to the next video on spawning techniques.